Hello, this is John Harrigan, author, Qigong master, and founder of the website ImmortalNow.com. Welcome to podcast number six, titled, quote, Death is a Con, a Fake Idea. In this podcast, you'll discover exactly what to do to end death and create a world of bliss and eternal physical life. We'll talk about the harmful idea of death being inevitable when it's not. How this idea, conscious or unconscious, leads to hardship, pain, and ultimate demise. When we accept death as a natural outcome of life, we sidestep our full potential. When we accept death, we never have to be ourselves completely, never have to grow and develop into who we really are. By accepting death as inevitable, we don't have to work through problems and harms that deny us our full humanity, joy, and freedom. With the idea of death at play in our lives, we're never fully available to ourselves, fully present in life, to our loved ones and each other. With death at the end of the road, we remain asleep living in a fog of gray when we could have the colors of joy, happiness, and eternal physical life on earth. The unconscious or conscious acceptance of death is the cause and root of almost every problem on earth. It is, in a way, the original sin that sets our lives askew. Yet, there is a better way. A full and immortal life can be yours as a choice, our choice to make every day we live. What will the choice be for you? This podcast will explain to you the problems that the idea of death as inevitable imposes, then we'll show you exactly what to do to fix it. To get the most out of this podcast, we recommend you see the blog post titled, quote, Death is a Con. This podcast is based on this article. You can find this blog post at our website, immortalnow.com. Go to our blog and enter the words, quote, death is a con in the search box. Now, let's take a deeper dive into the blog post, death is a con, and see exactly what it means for us, how we can turn around the force of death to lasting physical life. Death is a con we accept. Death is a con we accept without question or fault, and that's wrong. No one has to die. There's little value in suffering and pain. We can grow and evolve with joy, happiness, and freedom. Discover the secret to living forever in a world of your dreams. It can happen now. Now that's the first line, the first paragraph of the blog post, death is a con we accept. We all are born into a world where we naturally see death, where killing happens every day, whether we see it or read about it, it's affecting us. And we all naturally accept, even if we don't like the idea or want it, we assume that life ends in death, that there's nothing much we can really do to change that by the way we think, speak, or act, that probably maybe someday science can work it out. But really, what good would it be if science worked it out and we still couldn't be deeply happy and absolutely ourselves in a good world? We'll talk about that today in this podcast. Quote, the biggest lie of all. Death is the biggest con on earth. Death is a lie, a veil we wear upon our eyes. No one has to die. The veil of death obscures the truth. And what I mean by this in the pod, excuse me, what I mean by this in the blog post is that the idea of death, killing and death around us, even if we don't see it, even if we deny it, it's there. And it creates a veil. It obscures our vision to see the world, to see ourselves accurately and positively. It obscures our ability to see our immortal soul, our core physical reality, which I suggest is immortal. Death is, again, the biggest con on earth. 
life has always been eternal. We've changed reality and the laws of nature, the laws of physics, by accepting death as a natural outcome. I suggest to you our beliefs, our action, our behavior, our speaking, it's part of the natural world. It's one physicality together in influencing each other back and forth. I also suggest that we're the ones in command, writing the computer code, telling nature what to do by what we do, by what we think, speak, and say. So it's essential that we understand what we're doing, how we're creating ourselves, our bodies, and the world around us. Quote, the acceptance of death makes death true. The acceptance of death creates dying in our body, in the world around us. Because when we accept death, we accept killing. Killing of other people, killing of other animals, killing and destruction of nature and the ecosystem. Quote, this can change. These bad and difficult things, this reality of death, suffering, and harm, this can change, and we're the ones that must change it. We're the ones at the cockpit. We're the ones in control. We're the ones writing the code, the computer code, for our bodies, our lives, in this physical world. And as long as we sit back and say, no, that can't be true, no, we're not doing it, then we're not. And we're just at the whim of the chaotic way that we control the world. And we're not doing so well. You know, individually, you may be doing fine and thinking, you know, I'm a wonderful person, but if you want to be more, to have more, experience more, if you want the world to be a beautiful place, you kind of have to look deeper at yourself, see how you're creating, where you're coming from, where your motives are. There are three um, rules or three steps, three ways of being a spiritual person that I've read, and I love this quote. I'm not going to tell you where it's from because I don't quite remember, but Spiritual development is self-examination, meditation, and prayer repeated over and over to the degree that you can do it and, to, and whatever that means for you. We examine ourselves with other people, with a higher power. We meditate and pray to get connected within ourselves and to other people. As you know, I practice, suggest, and teach Qigong, and that is a wonderful way to get to your core of immortality, to see yourself, to get connected within your body in a healthy way, and to get connected with the world. That Qigong is available on the website immortalnow.com. You can find free videos to get started. We have a wonderful course called Introduction to Immortality that you can find on this blog that I'm reading right now. We have a book. Qigong and Spiritual Growth. We have a free booklet, free report on how to live forever, which discusses the secret to immortality. I suggest all of those to get started. We've changed reality, back to the blog post, and the laws of nature by accepting death as a natural outcome. We create by what we do, by what we think and say and physically do. I suggest to you our thoughts, our physical actions, it's action going on in our brain and our body. Our words are physical actions. We create by what we do. We create death. Death is not a fact of life that's predetermined or imposed upon us. It's something that we make. Quote, we create death by killing and acting wrong in relationship to life. We create death by believing in death and insisting we will die, whether we are aware of it or not. It's kind of an unconscious program in our brains, in our bodies. It has an effect on us. Quote, by acting in harm to ourselves and others, we ensure a risky and dangerous life with a final demise or end. Let's look at human attitudes towards life and longevity as they played out in the Titanic tragedy. So I'm going to use this as a metaphor. So Hang in there with me. We're going to talk about the Titanic tragedy right now. Quote, regarding the Titanic tragedy, you probably know about it, a big ship. It was supposed to be impervious to harm or sinking, but it hit an iceberg and sank, sadly. Quote, some people actually survived the sinking of the Titanic. 
Yet, if everyone stayed on the boat and accepted their end at sea, if everybody just stayed on the boat and said, there's no possibility of being saved, there's no possibility of being surviving, of being a survivor, what would have happened? If no one jumped ship, would anyone have survived? Now, a lot of people, sadly and tragically, did not survive the sinking of the Titanic, but a lot of people did. They got off the ship onto um, rescue boats. Back to the article, quote, are you on a sinking ship? Are you on a Titanic? We're on an earthly voyage worse than the Titanic, I suggest. As the Titanic embarked, at least the passengers expected to survive and have a good trip. We, on the other hand, hope for the best while accepting a fate that careens toward oblivion. At least the people on the Titanic expected to survive and make it across the ocean. We, on the other hand, don't expect to survive. We don't expect to live untouched by that hard and difficult end. My suggestion in the blog article, we can leave a sinking ship. We assume science may increase our effective lifespan, yet we rightly imagine a prolonged life would have little value if pain and ill will continued. A life of suffering and harm is not a good deal any way you look at it. So I live forever anyway. And that's a good question. But we can live in a beautiful, wonderful world that we create by changing how we think, speak, and act, how we treat each other. Quote, we can change the deal of life for ourselves by jumping ship, by jumping off a sinking ship, which is the ship is the way our lives are heading with this unconscious or conscious acceptance and expectation that death is the natural end when it's not at all, I suggest. What can we do to change this? We can change everything. Quote, believing in death is the worst belief we can have. Accepting death as inevitable allows us to bail out on life and not fulfill our potential or ever be fully happy or ever be fully at peace while living in the world. Quote, believing death can't be stopped by our thoughts, beliefs, and actions ensures that death happens. Believing death is inevitable, we stand like deer in the headlights, allowing harm to, prog to progress. You have the power to transform. Believe and know you have the power to transform this world and your life. You and the world's population are determining our course day by day with every thought, word, and deed that's chosen. We and the population of the world, all of us, are determining the course of everything by how we think and behave. We can make a wonderful earth, but we have to change course just a little every day. And we teach you how to change course here at the website Immortal Now. Dot com where we teach the secret to immortality through our blogs our introductory course and immortality lab you can join we teach you a little bit every day we give you lessons we give you qigong lessons new lessons every week and lectures new lectures every week in immortality lab to help you make a little change every day quote we have to improve our thoughts and speech we have to improve our physical deeds and that's why I'm here. That's why this blogcast is here. Podcast, not blogcast. I'm going to switch those around from time to time. It's just the way my brain works. The podcast is here to help you to improve how you think, how you act, how you behave, to tell you exactly what to do to have an immortal physical life and change all of creation. The good life is a choice. The good life, which is everything we're talking about with the secret to immortality. The good life is a choice, quote, as we stop accepting death and realize that we determine life, things improve. We vote on the outcome of the world, on the quality of life, our bodies and minds by what we do, by what we think, say, 
by our physical behavior. We can have a good life all around the world. Politics don't matter. Economies, good or bad, will not impede the stream. As we evolve ourselves, the character of the planet transforms to match our ways. A kindness emerges as we express our best. What I'm suggesting here is that as we act more gentle, kind, understanding and forgiving, the natural world and other people act more kind and understanding and less impersonal to us. Literally, a smile is met with a smile, a frown is met with a frown. That's pretty obvious with other people. If we smile, most people smile back. If we frown, they don't. But I take that one step further and explain that physics and nature itself change their behavior to match ours. Quote, we're made to live forever. Happiness and freedom are always here. Our soul is full of joy. At our core, I suggest, our perfect selves are there. Immortal, joyous, happy, and free. Just come along with me and you'll find that core, that goodness of you. Quote, our spirit is never restrained, yet we must know this fact to have it be reality. Do a little Qigong. Look into Immortality Lab. Quote, we must be aware that our lives are something grand. Quote, we must pursue our best inside ourselves. We need to seek awareness at our core. That's where everything is. When we keep looking outside of ourselves for fulfillment, happiness, and peace, it's really never there. We may get what we're looking for. We may get what we work for. We may work hard for many years to achieve it. But it's never really anything much if we don't have our core of gold, our core of immortality at hand. Quote, we will then see the beauty as we seek our inner selves. We will then see the beauty of the world, the beauty of every person, place, and thing. There is immortal beauty at the core of everything. And you'll find this, you'll see this, and you'll experience this as you start to do a little work every day on our website, immortalnow.com, with what we have to offer you. Quote, as we look into our soul and experience our good, we can see the world more accurately. As we get calm, relaxed, and act with compassion, the world transforms to match our action. We evolve by our behaviors as we think, speak, and act a little better every day we improve and the physical world transforms to a place of wonder. We can progress, evolve, and be a planet of goodwill. I promise you. Quote, we can change the world to something superb. We can remove the veil of death from our eyes and all the world. All of us can live with joy, happiness, and freedom. Let's get going. Let's get something great for ourselves, this planet, and everyone else. Quote, let's go, quote, let go of death, suffering, and pain. None of this is needed or has a place in our lives. It doesn't have to be here. If we're the ones in control, if we're the ones writing the code, the computer code for our lives, ourselves, and our bodies, let's just leave death out of it from now on. How about it? Quote, believe there is a better way than death, suffering, and disease, and live this way by what you think, do, and say. Make the intelligent choice, decide to change yourself. It's simple, you can do it with what we offer at immortalnow.com. These podcasts, our book, our course, and Immortality Lab. Quote, six steps to a better life. I'm about to tell you what we suggest you do. Six things to get going right now. If this is the first podcast that you've heard and you like what you've heard and you want more of it, we have suggestions in addition to the podcast, of course. There's a lot to do. There's a lot I've done over the last several decades to be here for you and have this to give to you. To have a better life, an eternal world with no injury or harm, we have some help for you. Take these six important steps. And these steps 
are on the blog article at immortalnow.com. Go to our blog page if you haven't and put death is a con into the search part of the blog page. Put in death is a con. You'll go to this article. Go to the end of the article if you don't have it in front of you now, if you don't see it. Go to the end of the article and these six important steps are there. And every one of them has a link for you to get going if that's what you're ready to do and what you want to do. The six important steps to a better life, to eternal physical life on earth, joy, happiness, and freedom, eternal progression and happiness. You know, there really aren't enough words I can describe to, I can use to describe this beautiful immortal core of happiness, bliss, which is our true selves, our identity. I suggest to you, if you want it, you want to experience that. If you want to get more of it and you're already experiencing it, if you want it in your physical body, we suggest these six steps. One, join Immortality Lab. That's a membership where every week you get new videos. You get a video Qigong class, original and new, every week. You get an Immortality Lecture every week, original and new, and you get other goodies and benefits. Number two, listen to our podcast. Good for you and congratulations because you're listening to the podcast now. Number three, read our blog articles. They're free. They're on the website immortalnow.com on our blog. Four, watch the YouTube videos. There's a link to that. There's a link to that on this blog article this blog post death is a con watch the youtube videos go to the link at our blog post death is a con number four number five try our introductory course decades in the making this is a simple easy yet powerful course that includes uh, over 20 videos of instruction of lecture of inspirational motivational explanatory talk telling you exactly what to do for the secret to immortality and important qigong exercises for immortality and finally number six last but not least and perhaps first actually is our book our book is qigong and spiritual growth i'm a qigong master of 20 plus years the resources above can help you be calm, steady, and secure. Those six steps all have resources for you to get going and to get deeper into your own security, strength, immortality, happiness, bliss, and love. The last one, number six, was perhaps the first. Look at the book, Qigong and Spiritual Growth, by me, John F. Harrigan. Again, I'm a Qigong master of 20 years. The Qigong we teach can give you peace, vitality, strength, and activate your immortality. Discover Qigong and Immortality Lab. Excuse me, I repeat. Discover Qigong with Immortality Lab, the introductory course in our Qigong book. So specifically, Qigong, go to Immortality Lab try the introductory course, read the Qigong book, but really everything, the lectures, the talks, the articles, the books, it's all Qigong. It all has that immortality, strength, bliss, happiness. That is the end of our podcast today. Good luck, best wish, <laughs> good luck, best wishes. Start your journey now. God bless you and keep you.